Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Inglewood House as we finally gather to celebrate the wedding of Helen Ann and of Alex. It means so much to them both that you are here to help them celebrate, and they would like to say a special thank you to those of you who have travelled to this beautiful corner of Clickmanninshire to be with them today. Hi, Alexander James Burgess. Solemnly and sincerely. sincerely. Accept you, Alexander James Burgess. Accept you, Helen and Sarah Lang. <laughs> Good night. To, to be my partner. partner. In is everything. Life like friends. Despite having two years of extra time, we both know I left it a bit late to write this. <laughs> That's because I often find it difficult to put my thoughts and feelings into words. However, I have no difficulty in telling you today, I love you. I promise you today, in front of our friends and family, that I will keep loving you more than anything else. Well, except my mountain bike. <laughs> and the PlayStation. <laughs> but you're still in the top three, so that's okay. <laughs> I promise to support and stand beside you no matter what the future brings, just as you have with me, especially these past few months. I promise to continue to make you laugh, that horrible snorty laugh that you have, <laughs> even if you're just going to take credit later for whatever funny thing it was I said to you. I promise to continue to do the one thing that I do around the house, and that's roll your fajitas for you. <laughs> I promise you that a life growing old with me won't be a boring one. We'll continue to go on adventures together with Harris the Naughty Spaniel and any children we may have in the future, well they can come along too. <laughs> Finally, I promise you, how and Anne, I will love you for all the days of my life. I thought we could both use some change A newer perspective to see how Life looked in a different lane but here in your arms I can't leave now Cause I don't know
a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Time is We are dive again We shared our 18th, 21st and 30th birthdays together We've bought a house that we've turned into a home and been on lots of adventures so far However, today is the start of our next chapter together and I cannot wait to see where life takes us. I promise to always be your partner in life and to be your biggest champion. <laughs> I promise to be by your side through life's ups and downs and by annoying you by always wanting to hold your hand when we're out walking, <laughs> much to your disgust. <laughs> I promise to continue to making your peace for work and to not be so crabby when I'm hungry or tired or ever. There's a line from my favourite book which says, he's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. And I think that sums us up pretty well. We've grown up together and I consider it an absolute privilege to be able to say that I've spent more than half of my life with you and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you as your wife. I love you. I'll leave, uh, leave you with a quote from Lyndon B. Johnson, who was the 36th US president. So he says, I have learned that only two things are necessary to keep one's wife happy. First, let her think she's having her own way. And second, let her have it. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing more remains than asking you to join me in wishing Mr. and Mrs. Burgess all the wealth, health, and happiness in the world to the bride and groom. So to wrap this up, on behalf of my wife and I, I would like... I would like to thank everyone who's traveled to be here with us today. 
It's greatly appreciated that you're here. So raise your glasses and join me in a toast to Helen Adams.